And good morning, YouTube. The seasons are changing, and my calendar sent me a reminder to change the solar panel angle today. My house sits on a southeast to northwest axis, so I don't have any south-facing roof. I determined I could attach this small rack at a 45-degree angle above the roof of my patio to get some south-facing exposure. I designed the rack to tilt to adjust for the seasonal sun angle. Charles Landau has a great web page on solar panel tilt angle. I'll place a link in the video description below. I chose to adjust the pan angle four times a year. For my latitude, the angles are 57 degrees winter, uh, 34 degrees spring or fall, and 12 degrees summer. Right now, that's the uh, spring and fall angle. So I'll, I'll show you how I change the angle here in a minute. I use a pair of chains behind the rack to make the adjustment, marking three links for the three angles. Red is the uh, summer setting, green is the spring-fall setting, and blue is the winter setting. Uh, the lower chain has a turnbuckle that I loosen to make the adjustment. The rack is roughly counterbalanced for the panels, so all I have to do is move the blue link on the upper chain into the slot on the bracket here. Then I pull the lower chain to tip the panels upward until I get the blue, blue link. And then just tighten the turnbuckles until the chains are fairly snug. The anchor point here is a uh, short length of heavy uh, angle iron and I cut a slot and there's a small uh, recess here that holds the chain link in place. And then like I said I just move the, the lower hook to the uh, blue link, tighten the turnbuckle, and I'm set until spring. And for reminders I created four events in my calendar with the date and angle to set and set those to repeat annually. So let's see what the panels look like tipped up to the winter setting. So here are the panels at their winter angle. What does tilting the panels do for output? According to Mr. Landau, the ideal fixed angle produces 71% of the power the same panel on a full two-axis tracker would produce over a year. Adjusting four times a year bumps that up to nearly 76% or a 6% increase. For my array, I see an improvement in the early morning and late afternoon periods. If you think of the angle between the panels and the sun broken into the vertical and horizontal offsets, the tilting minimizes the vertical offset. That means you have the light intensity falling off due to the horizontal angle only and not the combination of both vertical and horizontal angles. Since I have more peak panel capacity than I can use, I see mostly a flat output curve from 9 a.m. to 4 to 5 p.m. most of the year. This works well for me as I work from home and use solar lighting a lot during those times. I spent a lot of time designing an easy to adjust mechanism that did not cost a huge amount. So far, I'm quite pleased with the results. As you can see, I needed no tools to make the adjustment, and the adjuster is also the tie down. Now, if you have a house with a south facing roof at the ideal angle for your latitude, well, I hate you. Just kidding. Seriously, all you need to do is slap your panels up on the roof and call it good. But if you lack that south facing exposure, then you might consider making a single axis adjustable rack. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to rate and share it and be sure to subscribe to the channel for updates. Thanks for watching.